What's good, everyone? It's that time of the year. Now, don't call it a comeback, because Dumbfounded and I are the dynamic duo. We're back to celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month as we welcome you to Identity 2022, presented by Amazon Music. We're filming live from the historic Clive Davis Auditorium at the Grammy Museum in downtown LA. My name is Sherry Cola, and I'm thrilled to be back to co-host this year's show. That's right, we are back. This is Dumbfounded, which is my Korean name, and I'm excited to be back here hosting with you. We both have had quite a year, and this is a great way to, way to celebrate together. Mm -hmm. In fact, this show was created just to celebrate the both of us. This is our wedding. Only us. We are Asian American. <laughs> it's about that time someone gave us lots of production just to do a show to celebrate the both of us and our identity. We finally infiltrated. Yeah, cheers to us. Kidding, kidding, but it's been a year, and I'm very grateful to be here with all of you. Absolutely. This show is definitely more uh, than just about the two of us, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Hate to break your hearts, mm -hmm. but especially because we have a live studio audience this year. Make some noise. Yeah. These are not holograms. This nah. is human flesh. It's good to have you all here with us live. Tonight, we're bringing together the, com the community. I'm blacked out. <laughs> uh, to celebrate our collective identity and spreading Asian joy. Now today, for the next few hours, we have great performances, mm -hmm. inspiring messages, and so much more. If you're having a good time streaming this from home, watching via the Amazon Music channel on Twitch, be sure to comment and send some love to our guests in the house. Tonight's show will be welcoming performances from all around the world. We got artists like B.I., Ariane Shah, Guap, Ria Raj, Suli, Dolly Av, MXM Tune, and Twee. What a lineup. Y'all are not ready. I have goosebumps. We're also going to be coming at you live in the house with some special segments with guests like Liza Soberano, Soji Arai, Tenzing Trainer, and Stephanie Shu, my sister. Now, yeah. these dear friends of ours will be coming up to talk about their latest projects. We're also going to see some special guest friends of ours pop up during the show with some special greetings from around the world. Tonight wouldn't be possible without the amazing support of our sponsors and event partners. First off, a huge thank you to our presenting sponsor, Amazon Music. Amazon Music and their teams have been the driving force behind this event. We're extremely thankful that they took the initiative to create something so meaningful for Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Be sure to check out Amazon Music for additional events, special presentations, playlists, and more to celebrate this month. Yep, and we also want to express our gratitude to event sponsors AEG Presents, who will be coming at us later with a special segment with Olympic gold medalist Greg Luganis. And also big thanks to our official automobile sponsor, Infinity. Yep, and we want to thank our other event sponsors like East West Bank Foundation for continuously supporting the AAPI community and your contributions to organizations working to combat racism and xenophobia. We can do this. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Service nation Services Nationwide COVID-19 and Vaccine and Booster Education Campaign. Get help scheduling your vaccine and booster at vaccines.gov. Hashtag we can do this. Yes, we absolutely can do this. We also want to give a huge shout out to our partners and friends at Gold House, the premier nonprofit collective of Asian and Pacific Islander founders, creative voices, and leaders, as well as Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to advancing Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders in the creative arts. Thanks to CAPE as well, the Coalition for Asian Pacifics in Entertainment for all your support. Yes, the community is here tonight, y'all. And thank you to the LA chapter of the Recording Academy for all you do for the music community. And finally, last but not least, a big thanks to Transparent Arts family who are endlessly advocating for Asian American representation in the arts. We have folks. They're clapping of all these groups in the house today. Make some noise for yourselves. Definite, a yes. lot of gratitude for all you guys. All those organizations keep us working. Thank yes. you. <laughs> this really wouldn't be possible without everyone's support, especially everyone watching at home right now. You make sure to chat and engage with us tonight throughout the show. Send us cute emojis, all that. Tag <laughs> at Identity LA Fest and use hashtag Our Identity to stay active. For those of you watching on Twitch, we'll be doing shout outs all night, so keep those comments coming. Let us and Amazon Music know how much you appreciate the night. All right, now it's time to start the show. The artist was born, and this artist right here coming up was born and raised here in Los Angeles and recognized by Rolling Stone as one to watch for, this, for his steady rise. We are so excited yes. to have him start off our show tonight, so let's make some noise 
for Arian Shah, y'all. Everybody, come on. How you guys doing? I call this song Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Pills deep in the Hollywood hills, designer down to the hills. You know that nothing is real. Lost. There's not a chance I'm in love What's left if we don't have trust? What's left if we don't have trust? I'm high I'm only trying to get by my vision used to be wide They're waiting for me to die To say how great I was when I was alive They think my worth is my price My ego cost me my pride if we're a war, pick a side Just praying not at your peak This city's not for the weak Don't wear your heart on your sleeve There's always blood on the leaves more you give, more they'll take Until there's nothing to break Never knew what was at stake It's always real till it's fake It's always real till it's fake Grammy Museum, how we feeling? You guys are representing for the thousands watching at home. I need you to be louder. How we feeling? My name is Aryan Shaw, and welcome to Identity Fest. Pills deep in the Hollywood hills. Designer down to the hills You know that nothing is real Thank you. <laughs> Grammy Museum, how we doing? How's everybody feeling tonight? Yeah, good? Well, thank you guys for having me. And once again, welcome to Identity Fest. Um, my name is Aryan Shaw, and uh, well, you know what? I wanna get a couple things out of the way before I really get into my set. I just wrote that song, actually, um, like a couple weeks ago. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not allowed to cuss, so I can't say the full name of the song, but it's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> I just want to say thank you to, um, to Identity Fest for having me, um, Amazon and Twitch, Pacific Bridge, are, there's so many people, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, I'm going to try, um, Pacific Bridge, Gold House, Amazon, Twitch, uh, the Recording Academy, the Grammy Museum, I'm, su I'm sure I'm forgetting a couple, but thank you to all of you for having me. Uh, it's such an honor to perform at the Clive Davis Theater at the Grammy Museum, how crazy, we're all here. Thank you, guys. Um, 
I was gonna say something. I'm not allowed to cuss. I'm trying so hard. It's such a like it's. I'm fighting my natural instincts right now. Um, yeah, well, I just jump into it. No, I definitely had something to say. Whatever. All right, this next song. <laughs> this next song is from a project called The Dark Ages, and uh, this one's called At Two. Thank you. Got no religion, baby. Cause there is no God that can save me. If hell's real, then that's where she'll take me. If hell's real, then that's where I'm waiting for you. I'm over religion lately The devil won't go till she breaks me So I've lost all hope in prayer Cause I know I'm not worth Not worth saving I've got no religion, baby I'm waiting till death comes to take me Oh, if hell's real and that's where she'll take me cousin somewhere in the crowd. I hear you. I can't even cuss. Just wait. Uh, I dropped a project earlier this year uh, inspired by Leonardo da Vinci and it was called Codex. And uh, this is the first time I'm performing anything off of that project live. Um, but this song uh, I worked on for three years now and this song is called The Beginning is the End. in this life I found a way out of my mind It might be the end of the line I'm looking over the edge The only question is
I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna do one more song. And somewhere in the last two songs, I thought about the thing that I was supposed to say that I forgot. Um, yes, super cool that we're here at the Grammy Museum. But I wanted to say, um, you know, when I got invited to uh, perform, you know, the first thought was, I can't cuss, and that makes it really difficult. Um, so I had to strip down my entire set. Um, and the second thought was, you know, something that I feel kind of held me back my entire life. Um, and especially in my early years uh, in my career was, you know, the color of my skin and was, was being an Indian artist in this space of music. And um, I just think it's really cool that we're here uh, celebrating that today at the Grammy Museum. I think that's a really cool thing. So, you know, thank you to Identity Fest for what you guys do and all the amazing people who put it together because um, thank you guys for celebrating who we are and who you are. And I, I don't know, just have a lot of gratitude, you know, for you guys. Um, before I do this last song, I just want to talk about it real quick. Um, you know, I wrote this song five years ago when I was 16, so I'm 21 now, and um, I, I love the collective cheese. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, you know, I wrote this when I was 16, and this was like my favorite song at the time, and I remember putting it out in, you know, 2018, and it, it was like, you know, the people who enjoyed it, I think really enjoyed it, and nobody else really cared about it. And year after year, I got to watch, you know, new fans come and really appreciate this record. Um, and then in the last month and a half, it just went super viral on TikTok. Um, and it's, it's uh, yeah, now my biggest song and one of the biggest songs in the world on TikTok. Um, thank you. So I wanted to do a special version of, uh, of this song. And um, I'm sure you guys are probably tired of hearing it on your For You page, but this one is called Renegade. <laughs> Keep your hands right there I've talked to more She's in my mind somewhere Won't let my mind go there I took too much Don't let me drive nowhere mm -hmm. Now keep your eyes on mine And if you want I'll tell you Tell your friend she's next in line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should have listened to them, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you?
Identity Fest, Grammy Museum. I love you guys so much. To everybody watching at home, you guys are representing all of them. I love all the friends and family in here. Um, yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's such an honor. And uh, my name is Aryan Shaw, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Aloha kako, Kalani Pea Keia. I'm Kalani Pea, and welcome to Identity 2022 on behalf of AAPI. Ku haaheoao he Hawaiia, a he Pilipinoao, a ku wau no ku ohana pea. Ku haaheo no hoiao. I am proud native Hawaiian Filipino, a proud gay man, and a proud servant of my lahui Hawaii. I'm a three-time Grammy award-winning singer, songwriter, and music producer, and I'm all about sharing about the music, about people and places I love here in Hawaii. My ohana, my family, my grandparents, my siblings, my parents, my husband, all shaped my Hawaiian Filipino identity. And my advice to all of you is be you. Be the authentic you. Never change for nobody. Be proud. Yo, ala nakila. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm Sean. I play Chris on the Fox News drama show, The Cleaning Lady. This month is Asian Pacific Heritage Month, which means that we celebrate all the Asian Americans, the native Hawaiians, the Pacific Islanders uh, who represent our art and our culture. Um, and I just want to really celebrate them and really celebrate us. You know, it's important to me because I remember I, you know, growing up in LA my whole life, I've always felt like an outsider um, and I felt like I was never good enough. I, I never fit in. And I, I was ashamed almost of, of where I came from, but I learned to embrace my uniqueness and embrace the fact that I was different. And it made me appreciate and respect my culture way more than I could ever believe I'm at that place where I get to be proud of who I am. I get to be proud to be Asian. I hope you guys, all, all my fellow Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders feel the same way and let's just celebrate, you know, represent hard. Thank you guys for listening and shout out to Identity. Introducing the all-new Infiniti QX60. Take on your wild world in style. Hi, I'm Morissette, recording artist from the Philippines, and I am proud of my Filipina identity. Sharing culture brings people together and reminds us of who we are. Whether it's sharing my mom's favorite cooking, my favorite is Utan Bisaya from the South, listening to my favorite AAPI and OPM artists, and simply celebrating everything that makes us proudly Pinoy. I'd like to wish everybody a happy Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and a huge shout out to Identity Magazine. Tabing salamat! I still have chills from Aryan Shah's performance, y'all. Give it up for him Make again. Make some noise, come on, y'all. TikTok, I mean, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, you gotta go viral in these streets. Such a beautiful performance, and what a way to kick off tonight's show. Please support him by following him on Instagram and streaming his music and adding his songs that hit to your Amazon. Okay, that is too far, the font is too small. <laughs> Amazon Music <laughs> playlist and tagging him online at Aryan Shaw. Now later tonight, we have more performances by Sue Lee, Twee, and the one and only B.I. Speaking of B.I., there's exclusive identity merch tonight available, so make sure you go home with some. As mentioned before, we are live at the Grammy Museum in the iconic downtown LA, you're familiar, and um, we're celebrating joy, and something mm -hmm. to celebrate is the fact that you just played Coachella. Yeah, I did. Come on, oh, give it up stop. for Dumb. 
And it was exciting because I, I played twice two different stages for Asian artists like Toki Monster, yes. 88 Rising. A long way from playing Korean culture nights at the local community college. <laughs> Growth. Yeah, Growth. but um, quite there's the journey. Hope. Yeah, there's hope A lot for of everyone. joy to be had. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Well, let's keep it going. Let's keep the show popping with our next musical guest. We're proud to welcome one of our favorite Filipino-American rap artists yes, sir. from Oakland, California. He's an internationally acclaimed Grammy-nominated and platinum recording artist. Everyone, put your hands together Make for Guap! What? How y'all doing, Identity? Make some noise. <laughs> My name is Guap, formerly known as Guap Dad 4000. I have been waiting to say formerly known as forever. Yes, I finally get to say that. <laughs> um, it's just wonderful to be a part of this community and to represent for um, the Blasian side of this whole endeavor, you know? <laughs> and it's also cool to be in the Grammy Museum. I've never been in here before, and I'm uh, nominated with them, so I think I should talk to somebody. Maybe I get a free wristband, I don't know, a gift bag or something. <laughs> but, um, man, I was side stage watching the, he was bellowing up here, that was beautiful. But Guap is here to party. We about to have a good time. Not that that wasn't a good time, but it's a little bit more upbeat. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I got a song called Black Iverson. You might have seen it on NBA 2K or on Colors. Yeah, my one's white, but I'm black. Iverson. When I started falling, I was sliding. I was in a club for I was 21. Now I'm with a savage and she 21. I used to wrap 200s around 21s. Now I'm in Atlanta, shout out 21. Started in the back, now I'm in the front. In a do rag and a beater like I'm Iverson. Hey, why y'all play all day? I made a lane, y'all stole the sauce and I washed all y'all take. I hope it tastes amazing, consider that y'all grace. Apologize ahead of time for metal flying y'all face. Turn this into Lebanon, cause the gang not far away. And we know where y'all stay. So let's keep it playing while fighting. We can do credit fraud all day. She wanna crash at my crib tonight, but she leave eyelashes in. My chick gon' find. I had to hit it with a Pikachu beanie on. On top of Murakami pillow eating synagogue. A lot of people coming around me trying to do the same. But I can't practice with no people that's not in the game. Baby, I'm black. Iverson. Uh. When I started balling, I was sliding. I was in the club for I was 21. Now I'm with a savage and she 21. I used to rap 200s around 21. Now I'm in Atlanta, shout out 21. Started in the back, now we're in the front. In a do-rag and a beater like I'm Iverson. They used to try to keep me off the fly for the shows. Now my trailer say it's Guap Dad on HBO. Bottles of champagne get delivered to my home. I'm in cologne, smelling like we buying cologne. Miami, it's not cold. And we not on a boat, I'm on a river with my bros. And we in booby trap with at least 15 O's. I did 10,000 hours, did 15 more. I'm always trying to double my stats and team goals. Oh, throw the box in the middle like bingo with no price to take. How we both on the floor, but you ain't never played. Use a fan, have a seat, sit down and watch the game. Baby, I'm black, Iverson. <laughs> when I started balling, I was sliding. I was in the club for I was 21. Now I'm with a savage and she 21. I used to rap 200s around 21s. Now I'm in Atlanta, shout out 21. Started in the back, now I'm in the front. In the do-rag and a beater like I'm Iverson. <laughs> That's a song called Black Iverson. It's out now. You can watch the music video everywhere. Add that to the Amazon Music playlist, please. <laughs> it's funny because I made this song just to be petty. We're about representation, right? It was a song called White Iverson. I was like, all right, I'm going to make black. <laughs> And that's how that happened, seriously. This is a, <laughs> this is a song I got called I Need Bands. <laughs> I just 
I found myself being more in love with money than I was a person at the time that I made this. So LL Cool J needed love. I needed a loan from the bank. <laughs> Yeah, you can't fight the vibe on this one. I see you grooving. My lifestyle supreme. I'm not talking about Fairfax. I'm just trying to bubble like the bottom of my Air Max. 95, want to crash like an airbag. People consider me a peer, but don't compare rapping. I've been misunderstood, really. Why you stress me out and you feel so good to me? Girl, I'm always drowning in Hennessy. I'm addicted to, uh, took your toxic back like you ain't did nothing. I need check on me. My ex, she tried to flex on me. Then got mad and said, you don't check on me. I'm going bad on anybody who next up. Man, sex, girl, I want check stubs. It's bigger than busting and blowing backs out. I gave credit to the wrong one and it maxed out. When you go, roll the dice, sometimes you crap out. Bounce with the stupid glow, I just know how I need bands. Money falling out my hands. So many nice bills falling out my pants. Every time I find something new, they ain't shh. So all I ever think about is licks. I need a brick. Act like you've been around some. Act like you've been around. I need bands. Act like you've been around some. Act right. You around money, yeah. Sleep on the floor with the carpet and his nails. Now it's money for Bell and my girls got BBLs. Trying to get into the industry, but I was late in it. I ain't never had my own lane. I created it, so why would I give us a title if I'ma play with it? In love with you, but girl, I hate this relationship. Gotta understand what come with fame when you... My job already crazy, you act crazy when you faded and went left on me. They broke up and she left on me. Now all your problems and bills supposed to be left on me. I'm going bad on anybody who tests us. I got your social in my notes and you next. It's bigger than doing shows that Mona Scott left. Fake diamonds, big shoes, you cannot hot step. Want to date a woke, go tweet a hotel. Stop taking trips, start making dope. Girl, I need bands. Money falling out my hands. So many nice bills falling out my pants. Every time I find something new, they ain't shh. So all I ever think about is licks. I need a brick. Act like you've been around some. Act like you've been around. I need bands. Act like you've been around some. Baby, act right. You around money. Make some noise, identity. I love this song. It's so fun. The groove's so right. And I need bands. <laughs> That's what we all need to get booked. <laughs> this is a song I made for all my Filipino family. It's called Chicken Adobo. Yeah. I just really um, connect love with food. So I connected both in the song. <laughs> Yeah. I fell in love with you, it was beautiful Like chicken adobo, how you fill me up Being by myself is scary, but love is scarier I'm just trying to make it in America How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful Like chicken adobo, how you fill me up Being by myself with love is scarier I'm just trying to make it in America. Yeah. Hey, summer on 10, mama on bin. So bust out the spin, bust out the rent. Piecing it in, brother pitch in, mother's kitchen. We going in, faking it up like we could cook and making it up. Bringing them over and making them cook. Go ahead. Just snotty my nose, dirty my clothes. What is a vote with my uncle on foes and my cousin on foes? I come in your lane, I be pro for how I'm numb in the pain. Only thing I change about is your name. How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken adobo, how you fill me up? Being by myself is scary, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken adobo, how you fill me up? Being by myself and love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. Yeah. In the summer, I got you. In winter, I got you. I fall on your body and spring for your trappers. I came your name, so call up your mama. If you don't got him, then call up your papa. If you don't got him, then you got me. Bring you to open and show you where I've been. Bring me back home and show me your problems, and we can go solve them. It's just you and I. 
the best highlight of every game because you fall when you slide. People get canceled every day, you do no wrong in my eyes. Hold me down like you been holding me down, baby. Yeah, I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken and adobo, how you fill me up? Being by myself is scary, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken and adobo, how you fill me up? Being by myself, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. That was chicken and adobo. My name is Guap, and I want to dedicate this to my Lola, who is in Arizona, watching this right now. <laughs> and thank you. I got a saying that I make everybody say. It's kind of a positive affirmation to myself. Let me know that I will never be broke in the mind or in the pocket. And I, it's simple. It's just, it's a check. So when I say, count to three, can you say it's a check for me? I would love that. Okay. One, two, three. It's a check. Let's do it one more time. I didn't really feel like it was all the way check right there. That was like, they wouldn't let us cash it. We had to go to the car, get our ID. But one, two, three. It's a check. Lovely. Y'all have a great night. I did it fast to make some noise. Hello everyone, this is Ron Chu, Chief Strategy Officer at AEG Presents and one of the executive sponsors for our API at AEG Employee Network Group. AEG is a proud sponsor of Identity 2022 and I'm excited to introduce this clip, Talking Story, with four-time Olympic diving gold medalist Greg Luganis as he looks back on his own journey to discover his Pacific Islander heritage. Hope you enjoy and happy AAPI Heritage Month. Thanks everyone for being here and thanks to everybody that's on video. Um, we are fortunate enough to have Greg Luganis with us here today in celebration of Asian Pacific Islanders Month and also um, mental wellness. So Greg, as you all know, is an American Olympic diver, four time Olympic gold medalist, an actor speaker, and he does a ton of other things that we'll get into. So thank you for being here. So we're gonna go on a little journey and we're gonna start with uh, Greg's early childhood and his journey discovering that he was actually half Samoan. Can you take us back a little bit and give us some of your history? Sure. Um, I spent my first nine months in foster care. I don't remember a time when I didn't know that I was adopted. It was just kind of a non-issue in our, in our house. Um, I did go through kind of a rebellious uh, stage. I spent my 13th birthday in juvenile hall and what came out of it was that I wanted to know more about my birth parents. And so that's when I, my, my mother and I went to the adoption agency where I was adopted. And uh, I spoke to one of the nurses who I guess met my mom or something and knew the situation. And that's where I learned that my, my biological father was Samoan. When did you start actually engaging in and kind of going back to family gatherings, understanding what it's like to be part of the Samoan culture and also understanding what the importance of an elder is, what the importance of your family is, um, but maybe talk about just how rich the Samoan culture is as we sort of lean into uh, API month. Um, Fuvali came to an event after the 84 Olympic Games. He came to one of my events uh, for Speedo. I was doing an autograph signing. And so the, my host from Speedo says, um, your father's here. I said, oh, my father's not here. He would have told me if he was coming to Hawaii. He said, no, 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 your biological father. I said, oh, okay. And so he wanted to meet me. And, and so I met him and it was very emotional for him. Every time I'd go to Hawaii, he'd always be there with my brother, my two sisters, and um, Geraldine. You know, I, it was like a, a family thing, and they would always see me off at the airport. And now that, that was—I didn't realize how cultural that was. He's 
go to the to the airport with everybody and then he would load me up with pineapples and chocolate covered macadamia nuts and everything to bring home to bring a little bit of hawaii home and so you know he never asked me for anything so i figured it probably was my dad and it was funny because like i was in hawaii uh for christmas and i was staying with my brother malcolm and i said malcolm i may be older than you but i know nothing about my samoan culture and heritage and i'm looking to you as my big brother and i always wanted a big brother and he just got this big grin on his face and now it's like okay greg this is so and so and you're related to that one and this is what we do and this is how why we do it you know and so getting this education from my 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 family about my samoan heritage so i'm learning the culture and it's just so enriching and i i just love it i can't think of a better way to finish this conversation than to kind of let it go and also absorb like all the nuggets that you gave us today that was so rich and you've led such an incredible life thank you for sharing that with us you've really enlightened us so much with your words and your actions and the way that you've lived your life so thank you so much greg give him a round thank of applause you. Everyone, again, make some noise for Guap, y'all. The chat is going crazy on the Twitch. Everybody's like, hi, Lola, on behalf of Guap. Yes, and thanks to Jovi Dom for clearing up that Lola means grandma. Yep, yep, and thanks to him and the team for coming out tonight. He's done the last two identity shows, so now we're in a battle to see who can do every show moving forward. I just yes. saw him at an award show recently, and he pulled me to the side. He was like, bro, you're the most hired Asian. <laughs> I was like, uh, thanks, neck and bro. neck. My yeah. money's on Guap. Yeah. Also, a big thank you to our event sponsor, AEG, for everything they've done. Hopefully, you enjoyed that segment with Greg Luganis. We have some people from AEG in the house tonight. If you're here from AEG, give it up for them right now. Who's, who's from AEG? Yes, and as mentioned throughout the evening, we wanted to bring in some special guests to have some fun with Dum and Sherry. So I'm excited to kick it off with our first special guest of the night. He's a Nepalese actor from Florida and starred in Disney's hit series, Live and Maddie, and the DreamWorks animated hit film, Abominable, which I love. Everyone, give a huge welcome to Tenzing Norgay Trainer, y'all. Everybody. Yes, TNT. TNT. I'm Tenzing. Hello, Bad how are you mind. feeling right now, surrounded by so much AAPI love? Oh, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Um, it, it feels so special to be surrounded by so many talented and amazing artists who uh, go out there and represent Asian, all types of Asian culture. So it is, it's really great to be here. Thank you guys. 100%. Preach. And honestly, I think the community is stronger than ever right now. And you being only 20 years old representing I mean what's that experience like how does it feel to be in the industry right now and be a role model especially you know with your Nepalese heritage oh it's so great and, and I've only grown more and more knowledge over the years as to how much impact I have on people from all over uh, I get messages on Instagram on Twitter all the time that say there aren't many Nepalese or Tibetan or Sherpa actors out there who represent us so um, thank you for doing what you do and that's really what uh, drives me to keep going every day. Yeah, I know you're a big supporter of the American Himalayan Foundation. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yes, yeah, so I am very much connected to the Himalayas. Uh, my grandfather was the very first person to reach the top of Mount Everest all the way wow. back in ninth. The anniversary is actually tomorrow, uh, May 29th, Iconic. 1953. May 29th. Yeah. Wow. So my, wow. oh, thank you. Yeah. For him. For him. <laughs> yeah, when are you doing it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying out here, guys. I'm trying. Right. Um, but yeah, my heart is in the Himalayas for sure. Wow. And my family wow. as well. Well, you we have so many things coming up, including Netflix's new series, Boo Bitch, with one of our sisters, uh, Lana Condor. Oh, yes. Love and her. How was that experience? I mean, uh, tell us something we don't know about, about Boo Bitch. Oh. <laughs> um, we want the tea. Well, yeah. I want to say Boo Bitch, too. Boo Bitch. <laughs> yes. Boo Bitch. Uh, yeah. Yes. Canceled. So. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Netflix um, show, right? Without sharing too much, uh, it's a great story. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you text your best friend and your family how much you love them. Um, it was such a great experience, especially Lana. She's so great, such a great person and an amazing actress. So, um, yes, that comes out July 8th. So very excited for that. July 8th. It's going to be a popping summer for Tenzing. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yes, right? yes, absolutely. <laughs> Is there anything else you have coming up that you're excited to share with the world? Um, there are a couple things that are 
on the down low right now, but um, it did just come out that Abominable, the movie that I did with DreamWorks, has been converted into a TV show. So wow. awaiting nice. the release date on that, but that should be uh, coming out soon, cool. I think, hopefully. Congrats on that. And, and yeah, you. give it up for Tenzing, y'all. One more time for Tenzing, everybody. We absolutely appreciate you pulling up and taking time for us. It's now my pleasure to introduce more iconic folks in the community. Wes Taylor and Mike Bo, representing our fam at Wong Food Productions. They're going to talk about local heroes in our community, a special segment brought to you by, of course, our official automobile sponsor, Infinity. I didn't want to be separated by the oh, mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good caught. This is the only mic that's joining us on stage right now. Oh, it's a joke. Mike, Mike Bo can't join us right now. So I'm Wesley. This is Taylor. And we're from Wong Fu Productions. Yeah. It's, it's really excited to be here because, one, we've been part of Identity since the beginning. Um, and also, this month, AAPI Heritage Month, uh, it's, it just reminds us of how important our work is and, and how special the people are that watch it. Yeah, this past month, we got to make some really cool content that recognized uh, heroes in the community. Thanks to Infinity, the official automobile sponsor of Identity. And we made a video that uh, recognized AAPI uh, heroes in the community um, that were featured in the book Rise uh, that was co-written by the Wong Fu co-founder, Philip Wong. You read it? Yeah, the people in the book are actors, activists, and uh, just more, more people like that that helped get the community to where it is today. Um, and so today, we want to recognize a local community hero here from Southern California. Yeah, heroes are uh, just everyday folk that inspire us to be the best versions of ourselves. Um, and this past month, uh, people at home have been nominating heroes in their own lives, and we wanted to bring some out right now. So Vanessa Kumunsat uh, recognized her friend Angelica, who is also a local hero, for inspiring her throughout her college career. Yeah, um, yeah, Angelica uh, inspired Vanessa to uh, create her own art and pursue graphic design as a profession, uh, which is a big deal because we love recognizing local artists. So now we want to bring up Angelica and Vanessa. Vanessa, um, I, I mean, apologize, apologies for having my phone out, but I just didn't want to miss anything. Um, but I'm honored to be here today to recognize my good friend Angelica. Uh, we've been friends for over seven years now, and for the time that I've known her, you know, she's been a close friend to me and um, confidant. Um, and everyone that I see and she interacts with, she always brings a comforting aura to uh, the people she interacts with, and she always voices her opinions whenever she thinks. Um, something is wrong. Um, so I'm very grateful to have her in my life, and I'm honored to be here recognizing her. Uh, so thank you to Identity, and thank you to everyone here. Thank you to Wang Fu. <laughs> honored to be next to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, thank you, everyone, and hope you um, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. I can't wait for Joe Coy's movie, Easter Sunday. That's Trailer the homie. Yeah. Representation matters, y'all. Now, we know y'all have been enjoying the show so far. Make some noise again for Wong Fu Productions. <laughs> and our local heroes. Shout out to Bobo Mofo as well, one of my favorite bubble shops <laughs> and restaurants in the 626. Is 626 in the house? <laughs> San Gabriel Valley. Two on three? Okay, yeah. It's a, I don't know. It's okay, an all right. Don't get problem, carried right? away, okay? <laughs> We're just solving math problems now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so a big thank you to the official automobile sponsor yet again, Infinity, for your help in making this possible. Local heroes, we're out here. Uh, so it's time for our next special guest interview. She's been featured in series like Forevermore, and the, she's also the very first, excuse me, she's in the very first Filipino animated Netflix series, Trece. Yes, make some noise. She's among one of the top actresses in the Philippines. Please welcome Liza Soberano. Hey. Yes, stunning, stunning. Wow. You gotta do a 360 of the oh. fit, baby. Yeah, wow, this oh is Oh my a... goodness. 
Thank you. Can we oh. even yeah. deal? Thank you for being here tonight. How do you feel right now? It's May. We're, we're really soaking in the community. How do you feel being here in front of all these people today? First of all, thank you for having me. And um, it feels very surreal. I'm actually really nervous right now because like, this is my first time speaking on a stage in America. Um, wow. <laughs> it has always been a dream of mine to kind of come over here and be able to do work out here. And so I'm really happy to be here, really excited. And I feel incredibly honored. Oh, well, no, we're honored. And, and you're obviously killing it and representing love. Uh, I want to know about you know, the fact that you are representing as an AAPI woman, do you have any advice, you know, for the Filipino girls who are looking at you, you know, wanting to do the same in, in you know, movies and, and TV and music? Well, I would say to just go for it. Um, a lot of the times it can be scary to kind of go outside of your comfort zone. And I myself am experiencing that right now. Like it would be so much easier for me to just stay back at home and do the same thing that I've always been doing. But my personal goal is to be able to bridge the gap between the Philippines and America and kind of give um, help help the younger generation, the little girls who also dream of coming out here and making a career for themselves. And I want to make it easier for them when they do that in the future. And if that means me taking the first leap, then so be it. Yeah. Wow. And I, I love saw, that. I saw the Twitch chat, too. The Twitch chat is definitely represented from the Philippines, shouting you out and all that. Yeah. I gotta ask you, how's your experiencing? Uh, how's your experience voicing an animated character? We actually have some experience in that as well. She was on Turning Red, Pixar, Ooh, Raya and the Last Dragon. I also voiced the Geico Lizard. Uh, no, I'm playing. I don't. Not that last part. But how was that experience? It was. It was a fun experience, but it was. It was difficult. So mad props to people that do voiceover acting. It's really hard. It's. It's a lot different from actual like live action. Um, and so yeah, it was fun. It was also very surreal for me. It was my first ever Netflix um, project, and so I was just really happy to be part of something as big as that, and to be part of the first Filipino animation. Yeah, I mean, you're making history. You're absolutely making history. And yeah, with voiceover, it's like, it actually, you have to do extra. Yeah. Because you're throwing your body into it. Yes. And the, I usually the dress up like the character yeah, when you I do. go in the booth. You it's, do. It's, Those I pictures do the were really impressive, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, um. I also got to say, yeah, you are the Save the Children ambassador. Yeah. Can we talk about that organization a little bit? Yeah, so um, I've been a supporter of Save the Children for the longest time, um, since 2015 when I started earning my own money because I started acting. I wanted to make sure that I um, would like set aside a certain amount to donate to children because I've always had a soft spot being the sister of like seven younger siblings. So um, yeah, uh, I started by supporting them and eventually last year, 2021, they reached out to me and asked me to be their ambassador. And when they launched me, I, w I was holding back my tears the whole time because it was a major dream of mine to be able to support in that kind of way. Wow. And use my platform. Yeah, you know, it really matters, especially within the community to pay it forward and you know give back. Yeah. Uh, proud of you for that. Thank you. So yes, yes, give it up. Um, obviously, you you know from the Philippines, and now you're in LA. Yeah. I have to know. For me, is there like a pop in Filipino restaurant in town that you recommend? Have you been to La Cita? I haven't been to La Cita. I've only been to one Filipino restaurant. I think it's called LA Rose. Yeah. yeah. Is that the one? Yes. Yes. Sounded like the one. I'm yes, I don't <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, yes it's, it's, the it's one. always nice to go there because the the people there that work there, they're so warming and they're they're just like titas yes. <laughs> that take really good care of me whenever I'm there. Yeah, everyone's family. shout out historic Filipino town right yes. by Korea. Town. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to promote or talk about? Anything else you're excited about coming up? Well, there's a lot of um, exciting things in store. Nothing really to talk about specifically. Um, I'm kind of trying to take um, ownership over my own career right now. Mm. So I'm making a lot of big moves. Um, but yeah, like I said, nothing specific to talk about. It's just me trying to explore different opportunities out here and in the Philippines, stuff that I've never done before. So please watch out for that. Yes, I love that, bridging the gap. Everybody, please make some noise for Liza. Thank you. Wow. You're doing, you so it, babe. You're doing Thank it, man. You're doing it. Glad to have you here with us and here in America. Oh, yes. We can't wait to see what you do with your career <laughs> out here. Yes. All right. Uh, now we are excited to introduce our next performers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, just, you, can, you can also just stick around. I want okay. Eliza to just hang out with us. <laughs> yeah. Introduce our next <laughs> performers. You. Please welcome an up and coming Vietnamese American singer and songwriter and an indie rapper and producer 
Uh, this is a duo at two incredibly talented friends of mine. Please welcome Dolly Av and Dan. Yes. Hello, how's everyone doing today? Good? Hi, I'm Dolly Avenue. I am an up and coming indie artist and I will be singing today a new track that is not out yet. It's gonna be on my up and coming album called Better Days, and I wrote it to my younger self, and hopefully you all can relate as well. So, are you ready? Better Days. She's like, let's go, put your hands up, let's go. This is also happening, let's go. I was lonely, spinning out of orbit. Hey, hey. Felt like fading away, away, away. Let's go. And you found me, gravity's pulling me. You give me something I can hold One, two, three, on four. to. Too fast, you need 
check the green plan, yeah, that the world doesn't stop for no man without us. I've lived undoubted, unhinged about it, now that it's out it. I got walls of protection, and this intersection it bends. I'm off a connection again, seeking someone as a friend. With you as the world, it ends. Thinking about you in these times of unrest. Keep myself level in these times of great stress without you. I was lonely, spinning out of orbit. Make some noise. I fading away, away, away. But then you found me, gravity is pulling me. You give me something I can hold hey, hey, on. Hey. space and it's so awesome to see their journeys being highlighted 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 because it's very inspiring you know to see people's journeys and just going through hardships and all stuff because we all we're all in this together and we've all faced hardships you know when we see someone just like going at it and doing their thing it's super cool <laughs> hey guys i'm desmond charm uh sorry for the noise we're here on the set of five blind dates which is a little movie coming out on amazon uh, we also have with love season two also coming to prime video very very soon uh, shout out to identity and all the folks watching at home i want to say this aapi heritage month i'm very very thankful for all the activists who are making it safer for our community on the streets and throughout the diaspora and i also want to say creators who are making things keep doing it you are the wave thank you QX60. Take on your wild world in style. Hey, what's up, Identity? Hope the stream's going well. I'm Sandra Rocco, founder and CEO of Sanzo, the first Asian-inspired sparkling water. Hopefully some of you have had the opportunity to try us. If not, all good. Um, hey, it's been a crazy, crazy last couple of years for API founders and the food and beverage community. Um, and for us especially, we couldn't have done it without that community. So if you're a part of it, thank you so much. Um, if, you're your, if you're on your own uh, journey as a food and beverage creator, um, I can just tell you that the experience is pretty demanding. Uh, takes a lot out of it takes a lot out of you, but ultimately, it's just been such a worthwhile one. We've been so fortunate to have um, you know meet so many people, have our product be uh, you know available in so many places and uh, so many interactions. Um, and it just means the world to us. So if you're getting into it, my biggest advice is just uh, keep getting after it.
Cheers. Hey, what's up? This is Miyavi. I'm proud to support identity and AAPI community. I also wish everyone at home watching this having a great, great AAPI month. So I'm Japanese and I'm proud of the culture uh, that my country has, you know, the sushi, the manga, you know, the Dragon Ball, and also, uh, you know, also my music is influenced by uh, Japan's culture. So uh, now we're in a crucial moment that we need to use the power of cultures we have, uh, not to fight, but to unite, you know, the cultures we have as a big, big power. And then, you know, th this world, it needs to be peaceful that's why we can do you know the music or movie or in anything so um, yeah let's let's keep imagine imagining the bright future and to make it happen let's keep trying to do our best and then I believe that we can do it so um, anyway please have a great great API month every song back everybody i'm looking at the twitch chat right now and they're loving dolly ab and they're loving dan 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 is going off i've never seen this many dans typed out in uh, one screen before I, they love you dan they yes. love the energy we're having such a great night tonight and we're going to keep the energy moving hope everyone watching via the amazon music twitch channel is enjoying the show and it looks like a lot of fire emojis in here be sure to check out the official identity playlist via Amazon Music after the show for selects from tonight's artists. A big thank you to them for presenting tonight's event. Before we move on, we wanted to shout out another event sponsor tonight. Identity 2022 is supporting We Can Do This, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services nationwide COVID-19 and vaccine and booster education campaign. Learn about COVID-19 vaccinations and boosters and get help scheduling your vaccines at Vaccines. Gov. Yes, boost it up, y'all. Before we bring out our next guest, we just wanted to remind y'all to stay tuned for performances from Ria Raj, B.I., and Stephanie Shu is going to join us. You know her from Everything Everywhere all at once. She's also one of our homegirls, so Yee. make some noise for that. Yeah. Lots coming up, lots coming up. But this one I'm really excited for. We've got someone very special to talk to. He's an amazing Korean actor who grew up in Japan, and Apple's TV is is. Is <laughs> is all the right. He's right here, but we can't show him yet. All right, I'm teasing. He's from Apple TV's acclaimed drama series Pachinko. Make some noise for Soji Arai. <laughs> I to keep them, you know, on the edge of their seat a little bit. You know, like whose shoulder is her hand on? How you doing, Soji? <laughs> I feel wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Yo, Thank you for representing. Soji, first of all, big fan of the show Pachinko. You play Moses in um, yeah. Apple TV's Pachinko. Yeah. Uh, how how was how was that experience? Well, um, you know, the story is about Zainichi Korean, and <laughs> I was born and grew up in Japan as a Zainichi Korean. Mm. So the story is very very close to my story, my family story. So I was yeah. so happy. Yeah, and that's like one of the most important things of feeling seen and feeling like you can relate to the to the yeah. story. And Pachinko is this classic book that's finally on the TV screen. So I hope it inspires to put more books on mm. the TV screen. Were there any memorable experiences on set when you were filming? Well, um, a lot of people love that opening sequence. Oh, the dancing. Yeah, dancing. I loved it. <laughs> I mean, I don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dance. Somehow people love my strange oh. movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're a dancer. I just invented it. And uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like that's kind of nerve wracking. That intro, if the if the director's like, okay, what we're gonna do for this intro is everybody's gonna go down this line and do their own dance. Like that would freak oh. me out. Yeah. I'd be watching TikTok videos trying to get a tutorial. You know what I mean? It'd, it'd be sad. But Asian guys have <laughs> hips. I've been saying it for years. <laughs> you know. So thank you for for, for showing the world. So t you, you can uh, tell us a little more about your experience being Korean and Japanese and blending those cultures. Yeah, the ancient Korean, um, you know, my grandparents' generation came from Korea to Japan before and during the war. And uh, we are like minorities in Japan. And we are sort of like forced to be 
quiet mm -hmm. by culture and society mm -hmm. and also ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I think that, you know, a lot of people aren't familiar with that story. You mm -hmm. know, I'm Korean-American, yeah. and um, I think Pachinko meant a lot to the older generation as well, and, mm. and very educational for the younger generation. Mm. You know, uh, could, could you um, explain the word, you said Zainichi, right? Yeah. Explain what that exactly means. The word Zainichi? Yeah. Uh, literally, it means um, being in Japan or staying in Japan. Mm. But Zainichi means to me is more like my identity. Mm. So I'm calling myself like not Korean Americans because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying about myself, Zainichi American. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. There's I a specific that. identity there. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and I just, I love that you're so proud of that and that's a piece of your culture that, you know, you get to share with the world now. So thank you, thank you so much. Is there anything else that uh, you're excited about coming up that we should know? In the Soji name, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 you know they just picked up the season two. Oh, Pachinko, so let's yeah. season go. two. Make some noise, y'all! Season two of Pachinko. Yeah. Season two. Yeah. yeah. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, I gotta just finish off by saying this project is so specific mm. to your experience. You know, th is, this must be such a special project for you personally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah very much. And, and you know, now I feel like I am a part of uh, AAPI community mm. in America. Mm -hmm. When I was in Japan, I felt so alone, but mm. now I feel not alone. I can, you know, walk with you all AAPI community and I will. Well, Give it up for that, y'all. Yo. Yo. What a feeling. And I'll tell you, you'll be seeing a lot of us at AAPI <laughs> events, yeah. I promise you. We're going to somehow sneak into <laughs> TV, too. I promise you. Well, thank you, Soji, and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm so excited to introduce our next musical artist. She is a 19-year-old musician and internet sensation from the Bay Area. Please welcome pop singer-songwriter MXM Tune, y'all. Make some noise. Yes.
not that famous French lady. I've always played the part of Shakespeare. Give it up again for MXM Tune. Make some noise, What huh? a vibe. The AAPI community is killing it. She's currently on tour, so make sure to check her tour schedule and check her out when she's in your town, y'all. Up next, I'm so excited to bring to the stage some amazing event partners to talk about something extremely mean meaningful, y'all. It's all about the youth. You know, the future really is bright, and we have to talk about scholarships and keeping the kids in the arts. Now, please welcome to the stage Annie Lamb and Kevin Nishimura from the Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation. Yes, doing the work, doing the real work. We have Frankie Yaptinche from Amazon Music, and he's also a governor at the PNW Recording Academy. Governor. Flex. Governor. Flex. 
And Kiana Conley and Rashi Konkari, excuse me, Konkari, of the Los Angeles chapter of the Recording Academy. Y'all give it up. Make give some it up. noise, Thank y'all. you so much, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, everybody tuned in to uh, the Amazon Twitch. My name is Kevin Ishimura, uh, co-CEO of Transparent Arts, uh, board member and governor of the LA chapter Recording Academy. And hey, what's up, y'all? and um, a, a part of Pacific Bridge Arts Organization with uh, Executive Director Annie Lamb. Hi, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here today. Such an amazing show. Yeah. We love what we do, and we're all about changing culture and redefining representation in the arts. Uh, just last year, we cl- uh, created a very special program with the Grammy Museum to help more APIs get into and break into the music industry. And we do that by um, sending some of our students uh, to participate in their music education program. And some of them are here today, the winners of our scholarships. Uh, You will hear from them momentarily. But we really can't do this without the support of our partners and sponsors. uh, Because we do provide the tuitions covered at no cost to the students to participate in the summer youth uh, music training program. So I'll turn it over to Kev to introduce some of our amazing partners. Yes, uh, we'd like to give a big, big welcome and thank you to Frankie. He's a part of Pacific Northwest uh, Recording Academy and an executive at Amazon Music to help us put us all together. So make some, make some noise for Aunt Frankie. Yeah. Thanks, Kev. Uh, really happy to be here as far as you know, Amazon Music's involvement. We've been doing the Identity Festival now for three years. Um, I think what's been really special is that every year there's been, I guess, a call to action for our community to activate. Uh, The first year when the pandemic was very heavy, um, obviously it's still happening now, but in Southeast Asia, we worked with the United Way, um, and we we raised funds through this Identity Festival. And last year, um, we worked with the Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation, and we, you know, provided scholarship uh, relief as well. So I think, you know, coming together for the third year, um, as our community faces a lot of adversity and a lot of different things happening, I think working with the Recording Academy, um, it is kind of pivotal for us to have our, our voices there. So I want to introduce some folks from the Los Angeles chapter, Recording Academy, that I've had a great chance to work with, um, Executive Director Kiana Connolly. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and yes, I also have with me um, someone from our membership committee within the Los Angeles chapter who has had a real uh, key focus on the work that we've done around diversity, equity, and inclusion, Rashi Kokarni. <laughs> and so what we would like to say is, you know, congratulations, first of all, to our friends um, at Amazon, at Transparent Arts, our fellow uh, partners in this mission today at Pacific Bridge, um, on behalf of the Recording Academy Los Angeles chapter, and our dear friends at the Grammy Museum Foundation, we're so honored that we could be a part of bringing more AAPI voices to the forefront within our organization. A lot of the work that we do outside of the other one night that we're most known for, which is the Grammy Awards, um, a lot of the work that we do is really about connecting to the community and creating opportunities for the next generation. So locally at the Los Angeles chapter, it was really important for us through our work with our membership committee and our foundations committee to make sure we look for partners. And so Kev is also a a governor of the Los Angeles chapter. We've worked with our fellow governors in the Pacific Northwest. And it's been really great to just be a part of um, seeing scholarships come to the students who you're gonna hear more about today for their um, opportunity to be a part of Grammy Camp. So thank you again for just thinking of us and keeping us um, at the forefront of your minds as partners. And you know, thank you all for coming out today and congratulations to the graduates, or sorry, the scholarship, the graduates. It's June, you know how that goes. <laughs> Graduation season, but congratulations to the, the scholarship um, winners. And then uh, Rashi, if you would like to just share a little bit about what you do and your background and how it connects to you know, why we're here tonight. Absolutely, um, well, happy AAPI month, guys. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'm a pianist and composer for visual media. And as Kiana mentioned, I'm here repping our membership and uh, DEI committees. And it's so important for us to elevate underrepresented voices in our community. And that's why this program, this event is so, so important. Um, So yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to be here. We have to keep doing the work collectively for our next generation of creatives. Thank you. 
Big thank you for to coming out, uh, Los Angeles Chapter Recording Academy. Thank you. On behalf of Pacific Bridge Arts, I got to say a big thank you to Annie Lamb as well, our executive director, who does so much hard work. Thank you so much. I'm the co-chairman, along with Johnny Giles, who couldn't be here. Shout out to Johnny. But uh, we want to actually introduce the Grammy Camp winners. All right. We are so proud of you. Altea and Savannah, please come on stage. Hi, my name is Altea. Um, it was such an honor to be accepted into Grammy Camp with a scholarship from PBA. It's always been such a far off dream that I never thought would have happened to be in the arts. And I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to be working with the best in the business. I was lucky enough to attend last year and although it was only five days, I can say with full confidence that it was the best week of my life. I'm so grateful um, to be here and to have the support on my music journey. It's always it's been so, so rare to see Filipina representation, and I'd always have to hold on to those that I found like Biba Doobie and Jean Millington and Liza Soberano, who we saw earlier today. To have the support of PBA with their initiative to add more representation of AAPI members is so important to me and so special, and I'm so grateful to them. Hi everyone, my name is Savannah Blandino. It's truly an honor to be here. I would first like to give a huge thank you to the Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation. Having this musical scholarship has especially changed my life as an aspiring singer-songwriter. As an Asian American, I believe that it is also significant that all cultures and ethnicities are equally and appropriately represented in all aspects, but especially in fields like music. I'm so grateful to you for giving me such honorable opportunities and experiences and advancing me in the depths of the music industry. I'm forever grateful, thank you. Thank you so much to both of you. We really hope you enjoyed yeah, the experience and continue to enjoy it. Um, it's great to see the next generation of artists be able to you know, see a real path in music and, and in entertainment and to see a career path. So we're so inspired, keep inspiring us. Hopefully you guys will be up here rocking stages. And um, you know, big thank you to everybody who made this happen today. Thank you all. I think they want us to do a group photo. Shall we? Can we do a group photo with, with these amazing new, new artists out here? All right, let's do it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Annie Lamb, Executive Director of Pacific Bridge Arts. Tonight, we are so excited to celebrate PBA's Grammy Camp Scholarship winners and announce the application opening of our musical scholarship. Your dream to pursue a career in the music industry in any capacity, then this scholarship is for you. Make sure you check out our website to learn more. I also want to give a shout out to all of our partners and team members for making tonight a reality. It was a labor of love. Thank you. Hey there, my name is Sineda Ng and I am an artist, sound architect, creative entrepreneur and futurist based here in Brooklyn, New York. The Pacific Bridge Arts Scholarship allowed me to network and meet with other industry folks and students in the music industry who identify as AAPI. There's still a lot of work to be done around diversity, equity, and inclusion within the North American pop music industry. I'm so grateful and thankful to Pacific Bridge Arts for funding this scholarship and providing these resources to us. Hi, I'm Holly Grace Schmilly, and I was one of the recipients of the Musical Arts Scholarship. Receiving the Musical Arts Scholarship really helped and encouraged me to complete my bachelor's degree, and it also reassured me that I can leave an impact on the future of the music industry. Hi everyone, my name is Shani, and I am a recipient of the Musical Arts Scholarship from Pacific Bridge Arts. I am now pursuing a Master's of Music in Technology and Applied Composition from the San Francisco Conservatory of Music with the support of the scholarship and PBA. Music life isn't always the easiest or the cheapest, and the PBA is more than willing to support us on that journey. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kevin Nishimura, co-CEO of Transparent Arts, co-chairman of the Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation, 
board member of Gold House and board member and governor of the Recording Academy LA chapter. Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation musical scholarships are back again this year. We're supporting students and giving them a window and a look for possible sustainable careers in the music and entertainment industries. We have an amazing partnership with Grammy Camp that financially supports students in, with the Grammy Camp experience, along with giving mentorship Zooms with previous Grammy Award winners and music execs from all over. So please check out PacificBridgeArts.org. Uh, we're so honored by all the organizations that really make this possible and give the next generation of creatives an opportunity and look into this industry. This is a true movement, true community growth. I want to say happy AAPIHM. Let's keep it going, y'all. What's good, y'all? This is Jay Park. I want to give a big shout out to Far East Movement, a Transparent Arts and Identity. Happy Asian American Pacific Islander Month. It's dope that you know we get a month to celebrate each other, celebrate all the work we put in. Shout outs to my parents for you know coming over to America and, and giving birth to me and giving me the opportunity and, and creating that pathway for us to strive. Let's keep on putting that work in. Look out for each other, whether you're Asian or not. You should not condone hate amongst Asians just because of what we look like or where we're from. Be kind to one another. I'm gonna keep on repping for us. More love, more laughter, more vision. Let's get it. One soju. Welcome back, everyone. Shout out, Jake. Couldn't film that vertically. I mean, horizontally, could you? All right. Love the message about keeping folks in the arts and finding more opportunities for AAPI musicians to gain leadership and resources to pursue their passions. Sherry, we talked a little bit about my passions and, and my achievements. Um, let's talk a little bit about yours and what you got coming up, because I know I got the inside details, and you got lots of stuff going on. You know, right you now. and I never clock out. Okay? Yeah, we, the we rumors stay are working. True. Uh, I recently wrapped something really exciting, Adele Lim's directorial debut with mm -hmm. Ashley Park and Stephanie Shu and yep. Sabrina Wu. And it's it's the first of its kind. You know, it's unapologetic and it really just embraces uh, identity in so many ways. Uh, finishing up Good Trouble season four right now. Good Trouble wow. fans in the house. And uh, off to something really exciting this summer, another she, movie. She also voiced uh, a voice on Pixar's Turning Red. I'm one of the aunties. I'm one, one of the of aunties. One of the aunties. I was out here. Uh, but yeah, it really just... She also hosts quinceañeras and bar mitzvahs as well. Yes. Just everywhere. Um, She's everywhere. I, I do it all. I do it all. I, I catch me at your local escape room. <laughs> I was telling jokes in the corner. She's I'm doing everywhere. comedy at escape rooms, I'm everywhere. All right, well, um, <laughs> before we introduce our next act, I want to again thank some of our sponsors. A big thank you to the East West Bank Foundation for all you're doing for the AAPI community. Thank you to Infinity for being our official automobile sponsor. And thank you to our friends at Gold House, Cape, the Los Angeles Chapter of Recording Academy, and Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation for making tonight possible and keeping us employed. Absolutely. <laughs> Infinity single-handedly signs all my checks. <laughs> uh, next, let's welcome a powerhouse artist that's been featured on MTV, Glamour Magazine, BBC Radio One, Billboard, and the list goes on. She's an up-and-coming pop singer, songwriter, producer, and dancer, a triple threat indeed, Rhea Raj. Make some noise, y'all. Thank you, thank you guys so much. And to everybody at home, thank you so much for watching and being here. I'm Rhea Raj, representing India and Sri Lanka. Let's go. <laughs> This first song is called Atmosphere. Let's go. Baby, can you tell by the way I look at you? I got something to say. I always run, but tonight I'm gonna stay till the light of the day. This time I'll show you what I'm feeling, exactly what I'm meaning. When I say I want it all, you better believe it, believe it. Mm -hmm. Saying everything you know I wanna hear So baby, will you take me out the atmosphere? Take my body above the clouds Baby, can we go there now? Saying everything you know I wanna hear So baby, will you take me out 
of the atmosphere Take my body above the clouds Baby, can we go there now? Getting all my senses awake, you Bring me to an elevated place, you Making moves, making me misbehave No, I don't wanna waste this time We on higher level, babe Past the Milky Way On another wave Feel the earth shake When we levitate Through the galaxy We don't gotta wait We go far Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was Atmosphere. This next song is called Devil in a Dress. It is like an early 2000s inspired pop song. I grew up listening to a lot of Britney Spears, a lot of Rihanna, Madonna, you know, just all the pop divas. And just always like miss seeing Asian representation in like the pop world. So. Thank you guys so much for this platform and for supporting Asian and South Asian artists. I got this song's called Devil in a Dress. It just came out. Let's go. It's the way that God made me. I'm a devil in a dress on the dance floor, maybe. My, my, my mind was running in circles the moment I met you. Don't lie, lie, lie. Cause once you go under, I know you'll be hooked to. I'ma be a new type. On the dance floor, maybe I could get a little crazy. So be careful what you wish for, baby. It's the way that God made me. I'm a devil in a dress on the dance floor, maybe I could get a little crazy. So be careful what you wish for, baby. It's all in your eyes. The way that you're looking at me, kind of toxic. Hard to define. Whatever it is, I can get when I want it. I'ma be a new time From one hit, one look in my body Boy, I'm changing your life Bet that you didn't see it coming It's the way that God made me I'm a devil in a dress on the dance floor, maybe I could get a little crazy So be careful what you wish for, baby It's the way that God made me I'm a devil in a dress on the dance floor, maybe This next song is like probably one of my favorite songs I've ever written. It came out six months ago and debuted on Paper Magazine, Rolling Stone. Also, shout out for that representation. But yeah, this song is just about being a baddie, not letting anybody take advantage of you, feeling beautiful in your feminine energy. But yeah, period, yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is Venom. You messed up. You know it, but you're too good to show it. Your ego is shameless. Boy, you better learn how to tame it. Do you really want to see the other side of me? She ain't very pretty when intimidated. Bringing out the menace of my body, babe. Think I'm the traitor better from before I hit you. Ciao. 
out, I'll be lurking Know about every move that you've been making You don't really wanna see the other side of me She ain't very pretty when intimidated Bringing out the menace in my body, babe Fear on the trigger, let it run before I hit you with the slowly I hope you guys at home are dancing because this one is super dancey it's a reggaeton song so yeah let's go <laughs> Thank you, Identity. I'm Rhea Raj. I hope you all had a great time at home. Thank you all. <laughs> East West Bank is once again a proud sponsor of Identity 22. During the AAPI Heritage Month, we come together to honor our roots, celebrate how far we've come, and recognize there's so much more we can do for our community. 49 years ago, East West Bank was founded in LA Chinatown for exactly that, to do more for our community. As East West Bank getting ready to celebrate our 50th anniversary, we invite you to join in. Do more to elevate the AAPI presence so together we can reach further. Introducing the all-new Infiniti QX60. Take on your wild world in style.
They said we were quiet, but maybe the world just wasn't listening. So we raised our voices loud enough to speak for the people. We showed the world our truest selves. We stepped into millions of living rooms and stole millions of hearts in the process. We fought our way to the very top and then decided to go even higher because we never doubted that we were enough. We shattered records and even dared to share our shattered hearts. And since second place wasn't enough, we settled for gold instead. We did whatever we wanted, however we wanted, whenever we wanted, and looked damn good while doing it. Now that we've got your attention, we'll keep making noise. world y'all thanks for being a part of tonight and make sure to support her online and check out her recently re released song devil in a dress i loved her performance uh, tonight and we have like we have an angel in a blazer coming up real quick uh we still have performances from sue lee twee and the one and only bi so stay tuned and keep watching and up next is our good friend from Amazon Originals' very own, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. That's, that's my joint right there. And the recent hit film, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. What? I know y'all seen that Who movie, right? Be? I know y'all seen it. Who could it be? We are so, so happy to have her here tonight. Please give a warm welcome to Stephanie Shu, y'all. Hey! Ew. In Wait, the flesh. Dumb loves the Marmalist Mrs. Mason. I know. Oh, yeah, he's diehard. Be before the movie, obviously, everything, everywhere, all at once was, I mean, come on, guys. That's like a legendary film at this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, was, I was already on the Marvelous Miss Maisel. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was the only battle rapper ever watching the Marvelous right. Miss Maisel, but I loved the show. I loved your presence in it. Um, but let's get into this. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, we go way back with Steph only because y'all are also on Nora from Queens, and that was the first time I saw Steph, and I was just blown away by this talent. So from Nora from Queens and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and now everything, everywhere, all at once. Sherry is the ultimate friend maker, and uh, like tell the story. Oh uh, yeah, God. host obviously, and basically Sherry saw me at an event and was like, were you just on Nora from Queens? You're awesome. I'm hosting a dinner for all Asian women. Do you want to come? And I was like, I have no friends. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, sure. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm having this Asian actress dinner. Please come. You just touched down in LA like two days. And I was like, yo, you're just dope and hysterical. So funny, so talented. And now the world clearly sees it and everything everywhere all at once. We'll never look at a bagel the same. Never. Yeah, I mean, that movie was incredible. It was everything. Uh, <laughs> everywhere all <laughs> it at made, once. made me tingle everywhere all at once. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. tingle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what was that experience like? First of all, when you, we also just filmed the movie. There's so much we to did. talk about. Listen, we, were, we text a lot. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> when you were filming that film, like, did you know the impact it was going to have on the community and also just the world? Yeah, well, we filmed the movie before the pandemic, and so that was such a different time. And even still, I remember, I knew nothing about the film industry whatsoever, but I remember going up to the Daniels one day and just saying, like, this movie's going to bring people back to the movie theaters. Meanwhile, like, I don't know what that means at the time. I don't, I'm not thinking box office. I'm not thinking yada yada. I'm just like, people are going to watch it and love it you know yeah, yeah, yeah. um but yeah no I, I i think honestly i did the first time i met the daniels was actually working on nora from queens and the first time i worked with them i just knew that they were so brilliant and kind and fun to work with um so i had no doubt that it was going to be a really special project but i don't think any of us expected it to be this. Yeah, I was going to say, how different was the experience from reading the script to actually being on set? Yeah, weirdly, it's such a testament to the Daniels. Um, the script is actually really close to what you see. Oh, wow. I mean, in a lot of ways. 
I, everyone's always like, was it the most confusing script ever? And I'm like, no, just in the same way that the movie is chaotic but somehow makes sense, mm. that's exactly the experience of the script, too. Of course, you know, the first pass, you're like, okay, hot dog fingers, why? You know? I caught it. <laughs> I caught it. There's a, there's a few moments where you're like, but why hot dogs? Right. But right. You, don't, you don't doubt the fundamental story. Absolutely. And what an all-star cast. I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michelle Yeoh, are you yes. kidding? Two queens. Were there any memorable moments on set? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I mean aside from probably all of it. So much. I mean, I remember that the first scene I shot with Michelle was the, um, like, introduction of Jobu scene with a swing and the things and the, ah, I'm scary, you know? And I was like, oh, my God, she doesn't know how weird I am. We've just had KBBQ together once. Like, she doesn't know how weird I'm about to get. And so I made the Daniels announce to the room they were, it, like I, that Stephanie's going to get weird now. She's going <laughs> to unleash Jobu so that um, she would be prepared for um, the beast. <laughs> wow. No, yeah. and honestly, like that film, just watching it, like me and my girl were freaking out because <laughs> you and your characters, I mean, how incredibly just versatile you are, Stephanie right. Shu. Thank like, you. The outfits. Was there like a favorite outfit? Was there a favorite character that you played in the film that really stood um, out to you? Favorite outfit, I always choose a new one every time I'm asked yeah. because there's so many. But I would say today, in this moment, my favorite one is what we call K-pop Jobu. So good. So I have teddy bears on my jacket. Oh, yeah. My bangs spell Jobu. Why? I, <laughs> why? Because <laughs> representation. That's why. Representation. Is, it, is there an official count on how many outfits? I yeah. need to yeah. ask Shirley. I th I think there are. S I mean, there's more than that we didn't even see actually. So um, airdrop it to everyone in the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got Instagram and content for at least a year for straight. <laughs> well, Sherry knows. I mean, I have some uh, stuff <laughs> too. I have some stuff. Uh, well, uh, we should we talk about our film or no? Y sure. Well, that's what You're the, the thing host. says. They want it. They want All us right, to leak Steph. something. They want Appreciate. us to leak something. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. But the point is just being no, like you your friend and it. also your castmate. <laughs> like I just, I'm truly blown away by your talent and mo Thank more importantly, you. like your heart and your grace and the way you carry yourself. And this is just now a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> this is just a heart to heart. Guys, there's like 4,000 people <laughs> watching. Well, wait, a lot of people tuned in. Let me, let me, let me pour some sugar on you, which is <laughs> that I've been watching from the corner and this is so cool. I mean, you both are such advocates for the community and it before Asian people were even cool, y'all were like, "Hello." Well, honestly, we're just, <laughs> we're talking on the side after all the you know the foundations. We're talking. We're like, we probably should do more for the community. Yeah. <laughs> we're, like, we're just reaping the benefits. We're just taking over here. gigs over here <laughs> yeah, left yeah. and right. But uh, <laughs> no, Dumbfound and I are definitely every everything everywhere all at you once. You are, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I want to thank you. No, it's, and thank you, it's honey. A big deal. We and could, off yeah. screen too, that they they are like this. So it's you know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sherry does not turn it off. Um, we will never clock out. We could talk forever. Yeah. Well, we I, wanna, talk I, let's, forever. I do want to get into the film both of you guys are in because it's not just you two. It's also like real homegirls you guys all hang out with as a squad. Yes. And, Honestly, and, oh, yeah. yeah. And I, well, let me just set you guys up. And this is from Seth Rogen's production company, it's just so people can have a vibe of what this movie might be like, right? It's comedy. It's R rated. It's to a, say the rated least. R. <laughs> rated R. Uh, yeah, it's Point Grey, Seth Rogen's production company, as well as Lionsgate. And it's Adele Delim's directorial debut. And she wrote Crazy Rich Asians and Ryan the Last Dragon. So it's very special. Um, and it's Steph, me, Ashley Park, Sabrina Wu. Desmond Chim, Alexander Hodge, Chris Pang, and some others that we can't even reveal yet. So it's just this powerhouse of this raunchy comedy that we never got to have. Never. Yes. Make some noise for that, y'all. Raunchy com <laughs> comedies yeah. with an so all-star. I wish I could say more, but we cast. can't. It's mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. But we just had so much fun. And like we the did bond have a lot of, fun. of really seeing people on set who look like you and also behind the scenes who look like you. I mean, that really goes a long way and it just shows you. One, how far we've come, but how much further we have to go. Um, um, so, you know me, I'm always on a panel. Yeah, yeah. no, I was going to ask you, I mean, after making a movie like Everything Everywhere All at Once, does it has it changed your perception on how to, like, what kind of projects to take on moving forward? Because it set the bar so high. Yeah, know? absolutely. I mean, I feel, honestly, I guess the thing that I would, I would want to share is that the way that the movie is being received has been really healing for me. Mm. I think that I've been 
sort of living in a closeted imposter syndrome my whole life of like, oh my God, I'm on Broadway, but it was kind of an accident. I don't know why I'm here. There's like barely any Asians on Broadway. Same with Maisel. I'm like, okay, I'm the only, I don't know why I'm here, but I got lucky. I'm just okay. And this movie, Everything Everywhere, is so close to my art heart. Like, I studied experimental theater. I'm weird as poo-poo. I'm like, <laughs> I want to make stories that offer healing, and that is my dream. That is the only way I want to do commercial work. And the fact that people are responding like this makes me feel so affirmed that I actually belong here and that the movie is also this way because I'm a part of it. Yes. <laughs> and so go. I'm like going. Yes. I'm like, okay, let's go. Yes. You Absolutely, know. baby. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. That, ro that, that Rotten Tomato score is any Asian parent would be proud. Of. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Not a hundred. <laughs> Not a hundred, <laughs> though. <laughs> okay. We're just so, so proud of you, babe. Thank you. Truly, truly, truly. You deserve Thank the world. You. Um, all right, well, Steph, I appreciate you being here. We could truly talk for 48 hours straight. Let's enjoy the rest of the show together. Uh, up next, I'm excited to introduce an indie rock star that was born in Seoul, Korea. <laughs> We're just holding hands. <laughs> she writes, she produces, she designs and directs all her music and content. She literally just flew in this morning from her current tour just wow. to be here with us live, y'all. So give her a huge welcome. Make some noise for Sue Lee! Oh. Oh. Hi, my name is Sue. Let's get right into it. One, two, three, four. The other day, the doctor Mama always said that I just need to loosen my tension. Well, thank God I'm not alone in this room full of people to shed some tears with. Makes me wanna stand tall and be stronger. Show. in the Grammy Museum and the Twitch gang. My name is Su Lee. I'm from South Korea, the land of BTS and good barbecue and kimchi that helps you poop. I also like to wear pajamas on stage when I'm performing because I hope that the comfiness might mitigate the chances of me pooping my pants out of nervousness. I'm still really new to being on stage and like performing and being a musician and stuff. Um, I've been doing this for like maybe two years, three years, uh, and I've only just started performing on stage like two months ago, so I'm pooping my pants right now, but it's, it's all good. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, 
The next song I'm going to be singing is called Wide Awake. I wrote this song when I was still a uh, nobody musician, um, like two and a half years ago, crying in my little tiny bed, <laughs> depressed as freak. Um, and it's, this one is always really surreal to perform on stage because I wrote this song hoping that one day I'll be able to sing it live on stage. And I'm about to do it now! <laughs> okay. Uh, I give this out to all the dreamers out there. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so 
the next song I'm gonna be playing is called I'll Just Dance. Uh, when I made this song, I was very confused and depressed and anxious and very confused. Did I say that already? I think I did. <laughs> I, really, I really wanted to keep on doing music, but my bank account was going empty, which meant I had to get a real job probably, and I suck at getting a real job, you know? Um, so I really wanted to continue doing music, but if I Googled how to become a professional musician and artist, it would just show me really poopy wiki how answers with creepy illustrations that never just helps. It just gives me nothing but nightmares. So, so I made this song in like four hours in my frantic, desperate attempt to just write out all the poopy thoughts in my head. But for some magical reason, this ended up going viral on Reddit. Ah! So. That was very cool. <laughs> uh, I shall proceed to do a little acoustic version of this, and I will probably freak this up because I've never done this before. I feel so unprepared for this. <laughs> Baby. I'm a bit dumb Got a lot of questions that I don't know the answers to I don't know who to ask Even Mr. Google's like, bro, you need to figure this out On your own, on my own, on your own Am I really alone, all alone? My, this is my last song. Uh, 
I shall proceed to. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't know why I always say I shall proceed to. I sound like a robot when I say it. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will now play my last song, which is called Jump, which is an unreleased song of an upcoming album that I'm busting my booty to get finished at the moment. Uh, also, this is gonna be my last time talking, so I just wanna say thank you fellow people for inviting me. Thank you fellow Asian, lovely Asian people and the people associated with the event tonight. Sorry, my mind is blank, so I cannot think of any names, but thank you, it'll come back. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Some noise one more time for Sue Lee, y'all. That was a that was a Twitch chat favorite. They she were going just crazy. broke the internet. For real, I, I pooped wow. my pants. Yeah, yeah I yeah. saw it. I had to clean it up, of course. <laughs> That's this relationship. Uh, her performance was crazy good, and I appreciate her flying all the way from Korea just for this performance as well. Absolutely, we're very lucky. Dumb, we're getting closer to the end of the night. Mm. 
It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> Two yes. <laughs> thank you for joining me tonight. Right, cool. I'm trying to get a record deal tonight. Uh, again, thank you to AEG and other sponsors like official automobile sponsor Infinity. Infinity. I gotta Anybody drive, drive out of here drives with an Infinity, Infinity in here? tonight. Stop playing. Okay. Everyone's going home with a high five. Um, <laughs> Look under your seats. There's an Infinity in there. There's All an right. Infinity emblem under every seat. All right. And thank you again to We Can Do This, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services nationwide COVID-19 and vaccine education campaign. Get help scheduling your vaccine and boosters at vaccines.gov. Let's keep this show going, y'all. We're getting close to the end of the evening, and I need you guys' energies to still be hype. I'm excited to bring out this next performer. This artist is not only a rising R&B singer in the industry, but she's also a huge vocal advocate for the AAPI community. Yes. She has over 65 million global streams across her catalog. Make some noise for the incomparable Twee! Hello, everybody. Are you ready to have a good time? I love this. Hey. Shout out to Sherry and Dumbfounded. Thank you for the amazing introduction. Let's go, let's go. Can I spend a little time with ya? Tired of being shy, what's up? I could put my pride aside for ya. Baby, you got it. I drop on my inhibitions round you. Cause you the only one that gets me in the mood. You won't see me get chosen. Throwing a fit cause I chose up Tell my shit but I'm teasing I act up when I'm needy, baby Ain't no taking your spot I take care of what's mine They don't got what I need Boy, don't you cause you got it They shoot shots but I'm guarded Don't play sick cause I'm about it You know just how I want it, baby Let's go, let's go Can I spend a little time with ya? Tired of being shy, what's up? a good time shout out to all everybody that went before me y'all were killing it i wish i came in pjs to be honest this is still pretty comfy but like that's just another level of comfort um so this next song is called universe but i gotta talk about what it means to me because i feel like it's still such a cool story um this song everybody thinks it's a love song and it is but i initially wrote this song about my dog and um like if y'all have a pet cat, dog, whatever it is, like you just understand the, the love that you have for them. And I was like 20 minutes to get into my studio session. And we're in the car writing. And me and Charlie were like, what can we write about? Like, what is inspiring? We're like, well, Oliver is pretty inspiring. And when you listen to the lyrics, you might laugh and giggle a little bit, but I love my dog. <laughs> He's literally my universe. So this is dedicated to him. Sometimes intimate settings always make me nervous. They're always staring at me. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hold me close. You keep me afloat. With you, I feel stronger. Oh, just imagine all the little things we could do. Just imagine if I put my trust in you. Oh, why? Oh, why? Cause you are my universe, my everything, my sunset. You still give me butterflies, my lullaby. You are. Imagine all the little things we could do Just imagine if I put my trust in you Oh, why? Oh, why? I was down 
bed in a place where the sun don't shine. Had my head down like a thing you fell in my life. I was looking all the signs, but look at all the stars alive. Yeah. You give me fever, you give me chills. Started as strangers, now look what we built. Oh, why? Cause you are my universe, my everything, my sunset. You still give me butterflies, my lullaby. You are everything I wanted when you see me running. Imagine all the little things we could do. Just imagine. Oh, why? Oh, why? My universe, my everything, my sunset. You still give me butterflies. Oh, everything I wanted when you see me run. So damn, that song is about my dog, but it actually turned into a love song. So I feel like if you have a significant other and you want to hold on to them and you can listen to that song, feel free, go right ahead. I just want to say shout out to Identity and Amazon Music for having us here. Like this is so incredible to just be in this space with like other AAPI creatives that are really just doing their thing and I feel really honored to be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This next song is um, it's called In My Bag. And it's one of my favorite songs to sing because I feel like it just empowers me and lifts me up and just makes me feel like a bad, you know? And um, I just feel like it's just a, like an anthem for everybody just like going about their hustle. So whatever it is that you're doing, like just get in your bag and hopefully this song resonates with you. Down it back, flashback To the time when you didn't show me love back Fall back, it's so bad, yeah I don't got no time to talk for small bags Who knew I would be the one, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew Talented, but they don't work as hard as I do, I do Running on E, talk big game, can't run it on me Up in that feet, love on a baby, I'm out of your reach Yeah, past told me, but I'm taking all the shots now If they try to bring me down, they get in box down yeah, 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 yeah It's time to get in my bag Wanna put check, pick up the sack, yeah, yeah From me the bag, I'll go with that I'll get it back, yeah, yeah Looking for me, I'll be right here Right here Yeah, 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 yeah Get in my bag, wanna put check, pick up the sack From me the bag, I'll go with that I'll get it back, yeah, yeah Looking for me, I've been right here But you're too busy Switching sides, yeah Let's go Let's go hey. So now you guys know, hey. yeah, yeah I'm hey. in the middle here, y'all hey. know it Y'all hey. ready to have a good time? Y'all ready? Hey. Let's, go. Hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Now it back, flashback To the time when you didn't show me love back Oh my it's so bad, yeah. I don't got no time to talk for small bags. Bag. Who knew I would be the one? Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew. Woo. Talented, but they don't work as hard as I do, I do. Woo. Run it on E. Talk big game, can't run it on me. I'm in that V. Level up, baby, I'm out of your reach. Yeah. Ask on me, but I'm taking all the shots now. Shots. If they try to bring me down, they get in box out. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Go, let's go. It's time to get in my bag, run up a check, pick up the sack. Yeah, yeah. From me the bag, I'll go with that, I'll get it back. Yeah, yeah. Looking for me, I'll be right here. Right here. But you're too busy, switching sides, yeah. Right here. 
Got you too busy switching sides, yeah. Let's it's go. time to get in my back, run up a check, pick up the slack. Yeah, yeah. From me the back, I get it back, yeah, yeah. 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 Looking for me, I'll be right here. Got you too busy switching sides. Mm. I'm like, ego at the door, I'm seeing better, better days. days. I dump my eyes, I put the work and check my resume. Checked on me before, now they ask you where you at. No, I can't hear you, I'm too deep inside. Think of the side. Yeah, yeah. Throw me the back, can't go with that. I get it back. Yeah, yeah. Looking for me, I've been right here. Right here. But you're too busy switching sides, yeah. It's time to get in my back, run up a J, pick up the side. Yeah, yeah. From me the back, I get it back, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me the bad baby, cause I'll get it back. Woo! Thank you, Identity. Thank you, Amazon. We love y'all. That was really, really fun. Hopefully, everybody's at home having a good time. And yeah, Mwah. love y'all. For a tweet. Sheesh. That was. Can we tell them our story? Okay. This is actually the first time I'm getting to meet. No, actually. No, we've no, we've met before. Yes, and it was funny because when I first moved to LA, I worked at a cake and crab, and Sherry came in to eat at the shiki, the, <laughs> the cake and crab, and like I was just like, oh my god, like she's so cool, and then a couple months ago she posted one of my songs on her story, and it like tagged me, and I was like, oh my god, she knows who I am, <laughs> and like. I, this is just such a cool, for, like, full circle moment. Oh, like, this is crazy. No, I'm fangirling because you just did your thing. No, I'm fangirling. You're climbing the you. charts. You got billboards, Times Square. Make some noise for Tweet one time. Billboard. This is not a game, Tweet. Thank you so, so no, much. No, for real. So, yes. yeah, it was a kick and grab. I don't know what year that was. Maybe wow. 2018? That was like three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. I'm not even sure, but like, you and your boo were doing your thing, and now you are absolutely From just. From kicking crap like... to getting bags. Make some noise <laughs> Honey, for Tweet. Yes. Look out for the memoir. <laughs> the evolution. <laughs> Thank the you evolution. so, so much. All right, I'm going to go. No, stay here with us. Stay here with us. <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, you guys have a good time tonight with all the performers so far. <laughs> We're down to the final performance of the night, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a special show for you, for all of you guys and everybody watching on Twitch right now. Infamous South Korean performer. I know a lot of people in the chat's been going off crazy about this guy right here. Giving us a special performance all the way from Seoul, Korea. Everybody give it up for B.I., y'all. Hey. What's up everyone, this is B.I. I hope you guys are enjoying Identity and thanks for having me to be on this stage. Happy AAPI Heritage Month. Thank you. I'm 
Member Judy Chu, Chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. Thank you, Pacific Ridge Arts, for planning Identity Festival 2022 and all that you do to give a platform to Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders in the arts. AANHPI representation is so important because it allows members of our community to feel seen and heard. I'm thrilled to see that over the past few years, there's been finally an increased focus on music and films created by AANHPI artists. For example, just at this year's Grammy Awards, we saw eight AANHPI artists nominated. I'm proud to see artists from our communities getting the recognition they deserve. And I thank you for inviting me to celebrate this month with you. Happy Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. Hey, this is Luna Lee. Shout out to Identity for hosting and to fans for watching. Asian American representation is so important. It's really, really important for people to feel seen and to feel heard. Hey everyone, I'm Michelle. And I'm Tammy. We're the co-founders of Hate is a Virus, a nonprofit community of AAPI mobilizers and amplifiers to dismantle racism and hate. Over the past year, through the generous support of our community, we were able to raise over $1 million to bolster the work of various grassroots organizations across the U.S., building resources for AAPI women, mental health, community safety, and much more. 
We believe in the power of our people to unite during difficult times, educate one another about our shared experiences and current realities, and keep moving forward together. Whether having conversations with family and friends, learning more about current issues, or just showing up to vote, it's only together that we can create meaningful and sustained change. We're so excited to continue to uplift and celebrate with our community, our strength, our dignity, and joy, not just during Heritage Month, but every month of the year. Happy AA NHPI Month! Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Apple the App from the Black Eyed Peas, here to wish you Happy Asian American History Month. Also, big shout out to Amazon Music and Twitch for showcasing new Asian artists on the rise. Using our mediums, we can continue to amplify these artists in our community. Peace, one love. Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Boba Guys. I just wanna say hi to everyone watching Identity today. Uh, I also wanna say happy AAPI Heritage Month. I know it's a, a great month of celebrations and, and sharing culture with all the amazing music and artists that are all kind of sharing their gifts today. I, I also wanna say thank you to the community uh, on behalf of all the food and beverage businesses, many of whom, I mean, are local businesses and some probably the owners even watching today. I know it's been a tough two years during this pandemic and it's the community that took care of a lot of us from the bus shops to the dumpling houses to the boba shops. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting all of us during these hard times. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks. With an insane performance, make some noise for you guys, man. Those K-pop productions do not play. No, not one game in sight. Yeah, and a huge, <laughs> a, a huge thank you to a B.I. and his team for uh, performing all the way from Seoul, Korea, and putting on such a huge production. One more time for all the performers here today. Yes, wow. As a reminder, he does have limited merch that is only available tonight, so check out the link in the chat room and pick some up. Only tonight, limited merch. Yes. Now, Dom, the theme of tonight is what's bringing us joy. And by the looks of all... <laughs> I'm just laughing because y'all are so cute. Uh, by the looks of the audience, y'all really had some fun tonight and felt joy. Make some noise for yourselves. Did we have fun? Was this iconic? Yeah. Am I cute and funny? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our special guest tonight brought me so much joy as well. Thank you, Ariane Shah, Guap, Rhea Raj, Soji Arai, Sue Lee, Dolly Av and Dan, B.I., Stephanie Shu, Liza Soberano, and Tenzing Trainer, y'all. Come on. What a lineup. We are blessed. Y'all came through and made one for the books. Tonight was one for the books. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, 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 cl and closing tonight, Thank you to our sponsors one more time, our presenters, Amazon Music. One yes. time for Amazon. <laughs> our partners, Pacific Bridge Arts Foundation for all the amazing yes. work they're doing. Family. Tra Transparent Arts, official automobile sponsor, Infinity, which you guys, if you look under your chairs, will be receiving. Our supporters at AEG, Gold House, East West Bank Foundation, Los Angeles chapter of the Recording Academy, hashtag We Can Do This campaign and... Cape. Yes. Be sure to check out PacificBridgeArts.org to get more info about musical scholarship opportunities. Yes, and of course, make some noise for our beautiful venue here. Take it in, the Grammy Museum in downtown Los Angeles. Iconic, legendary, enough about me. Be sure to visit here sometime and check out their music history. Now, thank you to their team and staff for making tonight possible. It truly meant so much. It's a dream come true, y'all. Grammy really Museum. Is. I saw Anderson Pack's wig out there. It was yes. crazy. Thank you for all coming tonight. It's truly amazing to have a live audience here for real because we've done this con We've hosted last year. And next year, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, be sure to tune in on Monday at 6 o'clock p.m. for an episode of Group Thread featuring Luna Lee plus a live premiere of her new film, Shapeshifter. Make sure to stay tuned to identitylive.org and all our partners for future events and collaborations. See you guys next time. Mwah! Next we year. Asian glow is real, y'all. Keep it going, keep it going. Shout out to Come performers on. and presenters. Thank you. Yes. All right. We love you. 
Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. Thank you, live audience, for being here. Meant the world. Twee, Suli. Yes. yes.